this is it. This is one of the places where I want to go. Look at that cat. It's pretty big. Not too bad for a place that I um, found out a few, a few days ago, actually. Supposedly, this is like a historic place. But the thing I like about this so far is like the buildings. They're still here. You got some old school books. Very old, but you can even see the spider webs. gotta go through here just from uh walking out there i seen this and i was like i gotta come through here you could tell these are very old stairs they creak every time you're stepping on them Oh, this is cool it leads to an area that's like out here i don't even know if people actually live here to be honest Dude, I think somebody lives over there. I just seen them. So people could probably possibly live here. Yeah, I was right. People do live in these areas. Well, time to go down. I have no idea some people still live here. I like that name, Old and Odd. Dude, I like these old school stores. Some are still in business. You got your cafe on the right. Look at that. There's a meat market on my right. You guys will see it right now. Don't know if it's functional. It looks like it's not. It's, well, it might be, who knows? So I'm in a bookshop. And man, do they have a lot of uh, vintage things here. Dogs and cats. Got some more over here. Look at that doll. You got a lot of old school movies back there. Oh yeah, I've got a lot of stuff. Yeah. And some VHSs too. How long have you been out like this area here? I've been here in the store about over 12 years. 12 years? At least it's been I've been storing about 15, 16 years. That's her business. Oh, okay. That's a long time. I can recall Not really. The smell Not for business. On a hot summer. And how the way the years go by quickly these days. Oh, they go by like minutes now. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So tiny. 
Looks like if you could bring even fit in here, how small this thing is. You got a lot of vintage disc in here too. Look at this. It's good to see that um, in my time, at least, I got to see these right here. Because not a lot of people, you know, are, are going to see these. Look at this. I think these are so cool. Now that I get to see them in person. Not bad. Look at these dolls. If you guys want to hit it up for old school stuff, this is it. <laughs> Which one did you say? This one? Yeah, that's that's right here. Here. Oh, that one. I thought he was like this. Oh, no, my God. You wore a catalog. <laughs> These are all old school. Yeah, back roads of California. So while I was over there at that old antique shop, I picked this up right here. Old school. VHS. I think I might know somebody that might appreciate it. Who knows? We'll see. This is like one of the museums they have on here. Man, I wonder how old this was. It's cool that they still even have this around. Look how old it is. I'm surprised it's still standing too. piano Let's see what's in this room right here. Dude, what is that? Is that like some kind of a cast register machine or something like that? I'm guessing this was like the kitchen area for sure. Judging by how the way it looks. That's probably what they used to do the, you know, the fire pit or the fires. This old school sewing machine. It's just like if uh, time stood still by looking at all these right here. Because they're here, I'm actually watching them, so. That's cool though. That's what it's all about. Here's another museum right here that I might check out, or that I'm going to check out actually.
looks like one of those uh, old school movies that I've seen. The scary ones you just push the door. Somebody would draw that. Compared to the ones that they have in uh, the casinos now, way different. You got some dice right here. Imagine if those just start moving by themselves. They just roll. Back in the day, old school newspapers. You got your Sacramento Union. Toilet is broken to not use. They keep all their stuff from back in the day. That's what I like about it. Caretaker's room. Man, look at this. So I'm guessing this shirt belonged to um, this guy right here. It was a laborer jacket. Both garments worn by either men or women. So I'm guessing, you know, for the ladies, they would have a different style. But for the guys, this would be it. Sits bath. Foot locker. This looks like a treasure chest, but it's not. Man, look at these shoes. You don't see shoes like these now, compared to what we have now. The money room. Is this some kind of safe? Oh yeah, it is. I can tell, look at the thick uh, layers of metal. There's your lottery room right next to it. Oh dude, check this out. I never, I've seen the ones that, you know, they do on TV, but these right here? Should I? Man, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do this one time. Man, I just touched an artifact from, you know, back in time. Look at this fan. There's no way that would work. Oh, it exploded. The boiler exploded. Damn. July of 1909. I wasn't even born yet. All right, looks like that's all the rooms that there are here. Usually when I visit places like these, I always take my time and uh, try to go through everything. Some people just, you know, like there were some people earlier, they come in here, they would just peek and then they would leave. I don't, I, I tend to actually, you know, appreciate what's here and go through everything as much as I can. This area right here towards the bath. I wonder if I can go in it. I wonder if I can even go in here. I think I can. Dude, 
dude. These are, look at these. These are like straight up abandoned right here. But I cannot go into one of these for sure. I can't. These look good for abandoned buildings. You guys know what I mean. I had no idea you could get access to, to this area here. But it looks like you can. So I'm guessing people do live in these still right here. These were probably like remodeled at some point. Because I do see people, you know, still living in these. Looks like that's pretty much it. Yeah, not bad for my first time being here. I mean, it was good. I wasn't expecting it to be, you know, have this much, but um, not bad. Oop. Doberman. It's just like the one my sister has. That one. That one's a girl. Anyway, that's it. Um, pretty good. Pretty good tour area here. Not bad. I actually enjoyed it. It's a good thing I discovered it, you know? And as always, stay fresh and I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>